It's that time of the year again, where I finally collected enough footage to compile a list of cafes and restaurants I visited in Bangkok. This time, though, I'll be featuring cafes and food from my favorite day trip location, Chonburi, as well. Bridi is a cafe and coffee roaster housed in a mid-century style home. It offers a simple menu of coffee and non-coffee drinks, light bites, sandwiches, and baked goods. Drop by Holy Mothership for breads, cakes, and cookies. Their sourdough is my favorite to buy home. A Keen House is a cafe on Sukhumvit 40 that has garnered a lot of attention for its aesthetic interior ever since its soft opening. The cafe itself has three floors, with a gallery space on the second floor. Wabi's Home Cafe is a newly opened home-style cafe in Ekamai. What I loved most about this place was their intricate display of all their baked goods on the counter. Not too far away is Nico Nico. Tucked away in Tongla, it is a cafe and brunch spot with a bakery lab run by a Japanese artisan baker. As you walk in, you're immediately greeted with a smell of freshly baked bread before kicking your taste buds with an array of Japanese-inspired dishes. Flat and White is a photogenic cafe known for its unique sculptural interior. Honeyful Cafe crafts drinks, desserts, toast, and breakfast bowls using high-quality honey sourced from ethical beekeepers as its star ingredient. Cone Number no. 9 is a cafe located in a ceramic warehouse. It's a multi-purpose space for those looking to buy high-quality ceramics at a more affordable price while drinking good coffee. Kay's is another brunch spot that's been quite popular over the past year. Personally, I think it's on the pricier end but it could be nice for those looking for an open space that infuses nature into its interior. Sasaya is a Japanese restaurant that's perfect for post-work drinks and dinner. Walden Cafe and Bar serves Japanese drinks in a homey atmosphere. With soft jazz lightly playing in the background, it's a bar that I love to visit when I want to have long conversations with friends. Joel serves a unique blend of ethnic and progressive dishes inspired by the coastal Indian cuisine. Kurasu Bangkok serves a lineup of specialty coffee and tea from Kyoto. They are also well known for their iconic toast menu. Walok is a Cantonese restaurant brought to Bangkok all the way from Singapore. I have yet to try their dim sum lunch, but I heard that they are very well known for that. Jod Fairs is a night market that just opened last year back in November 2021, relocated and rebranded from the famous Ratchada train night market. Jod Fairs has over 600 vendors offering the street food that we are familiar with, as well as clothing and accessories. And of course, their iconic Ling Sep, a spicy and tangy off-the-bone pork rib soup served with hot jasmine rice. Sarni City Branch in Plunjit is a good stop for coffee. Moving over to Ari, another great stop for food and cafe hopping, Yung Chang offers hand-pulled noodles and Sichuan comfort food in a Chinese tea house inspired interior. If you're ever around Ari, this cafe is one of the places to visit. With Lilu selling homemade vegan cakes and cookies, while Lalia sells coffee made from both locally and internationally sourced beans. The cafe has renovated a 60-year-old house in the neighborhood into a relaxing space with plants placed in different corners where natural light seeps in. Josh Cafe is a cafe located in Josh Hotel. At night, the hotel also has a hidden speakeasy bar that you can look out for. 
with Potong's owner, Chef Pam, being born into the family of a traditional Chinese herbal medicine producer, she takes us through a culinary journey. This restaurant is located in and named after a century-old drugstore right in the heart of Bangkok's Chinatown, where Chef Pam's great-great-grandfather, who settled in Thailand 130 years ago, founded. Each course goes through her memories associated with her Thai Chinese heritage, something that many of us Thais can relate to. Both the restaurant's wine and kombucha pairings are meticulously thought through to pair incredibly well with all the dishes. I highly recommend this place for those interested in Thailand's fine dining scene and would like a memorable yet touching experience. Pompano Cafe is located in a century-old building with a beautiful view of Bangkok's iconic Kuala Lumpur station. Not too far away is Bangkok's Old Town, an area I've talked about before in my previous vlogs. Start off with a traditional Thai breakfast at Kopi Hiat Taiki, a Chinese style coffee house. Craftsman at Bamrung Meng is a pop up cafe located in a historical printing house from King Rama V's era. Visit the Montian Hotel for its Hainanese chicken rice before continuing to Central the original store, the origin of Thailand's retail giant Central Group success. The complex is a new cultural hub offering specialty books and vintage merchandise with an exhibition space, library, cafe and music bar. Suring showcases modern German cuisine, inspired by family recipes, childhood memories and travels. Another culinary experience I highly recommend for a special occasion. Tonkatsu Wako is my go-to place for tonkatsu. My favorite thing about this restaurant is it's all-you-can-eat Japanese rice that's so fragrant. Sushiro is a conveyor belt sushi restaurant that has blown up in popularity here for its large variety of options and affordable prices. Miwana Coffee flagship store serves coffee amidst a tranquil setting under the treetops. This store grows organic shade grown coffee, which is coffee grown under the canopy of larger trees in the forest, believed to be a more sustainable method that also produces coffee with a richer and heartier aroma. About a 1 hour and 30 minute drive from Bangkok is Shonburi, Bangkok's nearest seaside town that is now also known for its cafe and food scene. I started off my day trip by visiting San Zhao Na Da in Ang Sila, a beautifully detailed Chinese temple I always drove past but never had the chance to visit. Next stop was Go An Dim Sum, serving breakfast and brunch with a large selection of homemade dim sum you can choose for them to steam for you. I then headed over to Little Town, a seaside cafe offering a peaceful view of the beach located out front. Butter and Bourbon is one of my favorite cafes with its minimal interior, airy and open space. The cafe also has a concept store selling cute clothes, shoes and accessories on the top floor. Ayatana is a serene cafe with its meticulous attention to detail. Its name is a Buddhist term that refers to the six external sense bases. Because of this, the cafe is designed with that concept in mind to capture all those senses. Dudi Noodles is famous for its tom yum noodles, tangy and spicy noodles with all kinds of toppings. 
Chon Lamak Witi Bridge runs along the seashore of Chonburi. I usually pass this route on the way back to Bangkok. And what I love most about it is the street food stalls that all line up along here during golden hour.